Welcome to Build of the Week. I'm Bix from Grinding Gear Games. In this series, we showcase interesting builds created by the Path of Exile community and explore how they work. This week's build capitalizes on a powerful interaction with the unique bow Chinsoul and the way traps work to deal massive burst damage while staying relatively safe. Chinsoul grants you 100% more bow damage at close range. What is considered to be close range is not based on how close you are to your enemy, but how close the source of the arrows is to the enemy. By using Chinsoul and tossing traps that fire arrows, such as shrapnel shot supported by the trap support, your enemies are right next to the source of the arrows. This virtually guarantees that you benefit from Chin Soul's close range damage bonus. Chin Soul's properties and the Trapper playstyle have very strong synergies with the point blank keystone. However, as a shadow, your early focus will be on elemental damage, life, and critical strike chance. You'll also want to grab the strongest trap focused passive skills and work your way down to point blank, grabbing acrobatics along the way. The Shadow Saboteur Ascendancy provides many great tools for trap builds. Chinsoul isn't the sole unique item used by this build. Deerstalkers has a built-in trap support which turns these boots into a cheap and effective 5-link. The Black Gleam Quiver helps capitalize on your access to increased elemental damage by converting your physical damage to fire damage. This build also uses Tinker Skin, a unique body armor introduced with the Fall of Aryath that was designed specifically with trap builds in mind. By taking Eldritch Battery on the passive tree, you'll spend Energy Shield instead of mana to throw your traps. The Energy Shield recovery from Tinker Skin then completely refunds the cost of throwing your traps. Shrapnel Shot deals damage in two areas, the Cone and the Projectile. Supporting your shrapnel shot with cluster traps will mean a single skill use results in lots and lots of overlapping damage cones. By putting two collateral damage unique threshold jewels into your passive tree, you can double the damage of that cone. This is especially strong against bosses that give you a little time to set up, like Azaro or the Val Oversoul. These are all of the unique items you'll need for this build in order of importance and how difficult it might be to find them or buy them from other players. These are the gems you'll need. These should be relatively simple to acquire. For more in-depth information about this week's build, you can find a link to the guide in the description of this video. If you'd like to submit a build for next week's episode, just post a build guide in the class forums on pathofexile.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time!